कॉम्पोनेंट बेस्ड डेवलपमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल सो यू माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट द गेम लेगो तो दिड्स गेट नॉट ऑफ पार्ट एंड दे कैन फिट टूगेदर so when the kids fit it together it will be some animal it will be a car it will be some fighter aircraft like this so these are the components these are the different parts so what uh, up till now what has happened various one vendors various companies software companies they have already already created the commercial of the shelf cots software components for example the payment gateway is already there so if you make a website some e-commerce website now the payment part you don't need to build it because it is already available as a software component commercially you can just go and buy you can just buy it right so these are already well defined interfaces they have these uh, payment gateway these uh, commercial of the shelf components and they can be easily taken and easily integrated into your software and this component based development model various characteristics of spiral model is incorporated so the way we develop using the component based this is using the spiral model basic characteristics and since we are talking about spiral model it is evolutionary that is why it has to be iterative approach because most of the time we will combine two component then three component then like this to make a complete complete software after combining all the components so this modeling and construction activity will contain what what are the candidate components what all components you have to fit so if you want to fit a software which component which part you want to to make it more complete okay so this components as i said it can be it can be a calendar if as small as calendar it can be a payment gateway it can be some conventional software modules that i just talked about okay along with this we have the object oriented classes it can be taken or the class packages can be taken all these are called as components only so this component based development model it uh, follows a certain steps the first one is what are the available components whether it are available as a cots in the market or whether you are going to make it or buy, you know take it from your some company so i say sister company so you have to research it and then this component integration because it, this this model is all about component taking component and combining it so what will be the integration issues what will be the problem arise what will be the risk etc then some architecture you have made properly so a car architecture for example you are making so you need where to put uh, the the tires where to put the engine in the front or the back so there will be software architecture because now you are trying to Fit in these components. So where to put? Fit it. For that, you will have some component architecture, software architecture, and these now component are integrated as per the architecture you have made or as per the design you have made. And then when you are combining them, you have to do comprehensive testing because what you have decided or you have desired, the functionality should be like this. So component based modeling or this development is all about software reuse because once you reuse, your time will be less and the project cost will be less. you don't need to start everything from the scratch and you don't need to reinvent the wheel for example here you see this is a holiday uh, reservation or you can say the hotel reservation so credit card billing is already made reservation is already made loyalty program is already made so just take it as a component and fit it and then just test it